to another video of the HTML CSS web development course. So in this video, we're gonna download Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna give you a small walkthrough. So if you're a Mac user, just click here or if you're a Windows user, you'll probably see um, the other installations as well. If, Unix, uh, if you're a, Uni of a Linux or Unix user, you can use Debian or a .rpm. So I expect you guys to have installed it by now. We're gonna open it up. Okay, so for me, this editor, it's really clean looking, right? It's nice colors and, and every time you start it, you get like this small welcome message. So where you start, you can start with a new file, open folder, maybe a workspace. So you have like your recent, um, recent documents as well. As you can see, this is really old actually. I'm, I didn't open that one in a month, but it doesn't matter. So first thing, this is the Explorer tab on the left side. And with that you can, you can open like your folder hi hierarchy, right? So let's say we open this one. This is like the hierarchy I made for our um, uh, download, the course download. You can download on our website as an example. Here you have like the search. So with the search, actually you can search for words or you can like search the word, you replace all the words with um, with another one. This is really nice when you work with classes. So then we have the third tab is source control. Uh, that is something we use GitHub or GitLab or, but we're not gonna talk about that now. Um, I'm planning a GitHub uh, course in the future, so it's gonna be okay. Third one is, uh, is a run or start. It's like uh, run and debugger. When you work with, for example, JavaScript, you want to test your code, you just have to click run. And then the, um, the building compiler is going to check out if everything is okay. And the last one we're going to talk about is the extensions. So when we talk about extensions, in this case, let's say we're going to look what is to find for HTML. So I installed the HTML snippets and the HTML CSS support. And the reason for that is uh, now it finishes um, the brackets itself. So when you open, uh, let's say, header 2, it finishes it automatically. And this code editor, it doesn't always do that on its own. So sometimes a nice uh, snippet or a nice uh, extension is really nice. So for example, let's say we click CSS. Let's see what, what happens. So HTML CSS support. And as you can see, I have like a lot of packages here. So if you click one, for example, custom CSS and GS load. So let's see what this does, shall we? Um, okay, so this loads up automatically all the, H all the JavaScript that's in your folder. That's pretty nice, actually. And another one, CSS formatter, for example. Uh, this extension adds formatting to CSS. So formatting, that is something like um, how your page looks, right? Sometimes you, when you work, um, for example, when you work on this, everything is like on this side. And when you work with formatting, it automatically formats your whole file. It's pretty nice and pretty neat, actually. So when we want to start a new file, you can go on, on the left side on the on file and you tap new file. Or you just do a command, command M. And when you want to save it, command S. And then you can save it anywhere you want. I'm not going to need this one, so we're going to delete it again. And on this side, we have the split editor. And this is really nice where you work with HTML and CSS at the same moment, so you can play around between more two or multiple files. You can also make three, four. It totally depends on what you are into. I don't really like that. I always like to use with two, um, just with two files, because I, I, I can't think uh, far enough for that, I think maybe, I don't know. And here we have different, uh, here we have different actions. And down here, I will show you this as well. With this, you can check which uh, which uh, language you are writing. So let's say you work with Rust or Ruby. 
that doesn't work in an HTML file. So you have to change the file, the file language itself. So what we have here is lines and how many columns, spaces, UTF-8. UTF-8 is the encoding we are using. It's not interesting. It's not really interesting to know, but just in case. So this was a small walkthrough of uh, Visual Studio Code. In the next video, we're going to talk about HTML and we're going to write our first actual lines of HTML uh, code. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get going.